Aside from our previous video, there's still some information you need to know about spaying and neutering your pet cat. Keep the communication line open for recovery support. When you pick up your cat from the clinic after her spay, be sure to ask about post-operative home care so you can give her the attention and compassion she deserves. Never give your cat human pain medications of any kind, even over-the-counter acetaminophen is deadly to cats. If you believe your cat is experiencing discomfort, call her doctor. The veterinary staff can offer helpful advice and answer your questions, and the doctor will probably dispense any pain medication needed to get the kitty over her recovery hurdle. Follow your veterinarian's recommendations, and your purring and bouncing bundle of joy will be back to herself in no time. Weird behavior after spaying a cat. Don't worry, spaying your cat won't make her fat, boring, or particularly meditative. She will still play, vocalize her opinions and actively hunt after the operation. Your cat may be less affectionate overall, particularly towards strangers, but she'll still be the same friendly cat that you've learned to love. Hormone reduction. The spay operation removes the reproductive tract, decreasing the amount of reproductive hormones in your cat's blood. Some female cats are extraordinarily affectionate or playful because of these hormones, especially during a heat cycle. Spaying doesn't necessarily mean your cat won't be as nice as she used to be, but it is possible that she won't be as warm or persistent after her hormone levels drop. Hormones can also influence energy levels, although many spayed cats stay active and in shape. A study of cat owners revealed that one in four felt that the spay operation made their cat more lethargic, according to the University of California Davis School of Veterinary Medicine. After surgery. Don't be surprised if your cat acts a little weird for the first few days after her operation. Anesthesia lingers in her system for about a day after the surgery, so she may be groggy, dizzy, and unwilling to eat at first. She should be back to her old self in a day or two though, according to Mar Vista Animal Medical Center. Keep your newly spayed kitty in a quiet room separate from foot traffic and other pets. Give her a week or two to rest and heal before she starts jumping around. Post-surgery complications. If your cat isn't back on her feet after the first two days, then it may be time for a trip back to the vet. While she will be sore for a few weeks, your kitty should be social, hungry, and alert within 48 hours of returning home. Call your vet if she has trouble breathing or if there is redness, swelling, or leakage around the incision, according to the ASPCA. Don't let your cat chew at the wound. Put a cone collar around her neck if she won't leave it alone, marking and wandering. Since your cat no longer goes into heat, she won't actively seek out mates during the height of her reproductive cycle. Females tend to wander farther than normal when they are in heat, so your outside cat should stick closer to home after the operation. You also won't need to worry about listening to your cat's midnight yowling anymore. Getting your cat fixed can stop her from spraying pungent scent markers everywhere, but she may continue to do it if it became a habit before she was spayed. Healing time for neutered and spayed kittens. After your little kitten spay or neuter procedure, he'll want to come home and sleep off the anesthesia he received during surgery. At home, you'll need to give him some extra snuggles and love while he recovers and his incisions heal for 7 to 10 days. When to fix? Both girl and boy kitties should be altered prior to 6 months of age when they reach puberty. As long as they are 2 pounds in weight, they can be fixed as young as 2 months old. In fact, young kitties fixed at an early age tend to heal and bounce back from their surgery quicker than their older counterparts, according to the North Shore Animal League America Spay USA. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The surgery. During your little girl's surgery, your vet will make a small incision in her abdomen through which he removes her uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries, according to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Your vet will then close the incision with surgical sutures. For the boy kitties, your vet makes two very tiny incisions to remove each of his testicles. Unlike with the ladies, your little guy usually won't require any stitches to close these incisions because they are so small. Both types of surgery are performed under anesthesia so your furry companion won't experience any pain. Coming home. Because the surgery for girls is a bit more involved than with boys, some veterinarians will hold your little one overnight to monitor her before sending her home. Boys typically go home on the same day, so expect him to be somewhat groggy. Your kitten will still feel the effects of the anesthesia for 18 to 24 hours after surgery, so he'll be a bit unsteady on his feet, according to Operation Pets. Recovery Keep your little one isolated from other pets during this time, giving her only a small amount of food in a bowl of fresh water. If she vomits at all, 
take away the food and give it to her the following day. Set up a comfy bed for your feline friend to rest and relax on during her recovery period. Your kitty's incision should completely heal after about 7 to 10 days, but she should be back on her feet after a day or two of bed rest. Monitoring your kitty. During the healing period for your kitty, monitor her carefully. Don't let your active kitten jump to prevent the incisions from opening and delaying the healing process. Keep your little one indoors only to prevent germs and dirt from contaminating the wound. Watch for swelling, redness, or discharge from the incisions, and contact your vet if you notice any signs of infection at the site of the surgery. If you notice your kitty licking or biting at the incision, you may need to purchase an Elizabethan collar to stop her from accessing this area and irritating it. Avoid bathing your kitty for 10 days after surgery. Typically, pain medication isn't necessary after a spay or neuter procedure. Consult with your vet if your little one appears to be in pain of any kind. The follow-up. After the healing period, your vet will probably want to see your kitty again to give him a follow-up exam to make sure that everything looks good after his surgery. Some vets use sutures for girl cats that dissolve and don't need removal, while others may need to remove any stitches or staples after 7 to 10 days. If your female kitty was pregnant or in heat at the time of her surgery, she makes take longer to heal than 10 days, according to the Seattle Animal Hospital. Follow your vet's recommendations in this case about when to bring her in for a follow-up exam, best age to spay a female cat. While you can have your kitty spayed at any age, the best time to do so is before she goes into heat for the first time. This will prevent not only any unwanted litters but also some possible health issues for your little girl later in life. Reaching Maturity Typically, your furry companion will become mature when she reaches 5 to 8 months old, according to the Feline Advisory Bureau. At this point, your kitten can have kittens of her own, leading to a number of unwanted little babies for you to deal with. Once she goes into her first estrus or heat cycle, she'll remain in heat for 21 to 30 days, according to the University of California Davis School of Veterinary Medicine. During this time, she won't be able to have a space surgery because of the medical risks involved, and you'll have to wait until she's out of estrus. Spaying Ages While spaying is traditionally recommended for kitties between 4 and 6 months of age, spaying as young as 8 weeks old is considered safe, according to Cat Channel. Many animal shelters actually spay kitties prior to adopting them out at this age. Each kitty is unique, though, and your vet may have recommendations of his own for your little one, to determine the best age to spay her. In addition, certain local laws may dictate when you spay your little one. Some municipalities specify that kitties must be spayed by 4 months of age, while others require it by 6 months of age, according to the American Veterinary Medical Association. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.